Hey guys, welcome back to another video. So this time of year I always get asked for Valentine's inspiration and I always think lace is a really pretty way to go for any love or Valentine's themed nails. I saw a set on Instagram by D Timmer and I really wanted to recreate them so this is my take on them so hope you enjoy. So I'm using all Magpie Beauty today, I love their gels for this type of line work, they're really highly pigmented and the colour payoff is brilliant. So I am using Cotton Candy, Moaning Mini, Black Betty and Plain Jane. And the Magpie Stroper brush is really nice to work with so I'm going to be using that today as well. So for the lace stamping I'm using Dixie Plates DP03 and this is the original lace plate that they have. I will put alternatives in the description box for Dixie Plates because there's a few Dixie Plates with lace images on just in case you don't have this one. But I'm going to be using this middle panel on here because you can just take any section that you want and choose that. So I'm using my Dixie Diamond Duo today and don't laugh, don't judge, it's really old and I really need to get a new one but you know I just like the sentimental value of it. So I'm using the lightest colour for the base and that's Cotton Candy and as you can see this is one coat and it's so pigmented and just really self levels so that can just cure for 60 seconds. And then I'm just decanting the other colours onto a scraper card and this is just going to make it easier to pick up. So decide on your nail which side's going to have the lace stamping. So I'm going to do it on the right hand side on this practice nail. And then I did just wipe the inhibition layer off just because sometimes it can be a bit slippy and this just makes it a bit smoother for adding artwork on top. So I'm just taking Black Betty and I'm just going to swirl this round, leaving the section that I want for the lace stamping to go. Now it looks like I'm doing this really shoddily and you all know I'm brilliant at hand painting, not. So I just draw the line and then I go in and perfect it and then that just goes in the lamp to cure when you're happy. <laughs> So if you're a mega perfectionist you could go and mask the nail and then do your stamping but I'm just going to eyeball this and curve the stamping polish as to what I think the curve is going to be on the nail. Scrape and then pick up with your stamper and then it did fit actually pretty well but there was just a few bits missing at the top so I just go in with the stamper again and just fill in the spaces it's super easy to patch up. And then I'm going to go in with my second colour which is Moaning Mini and I love this colour. It's got a very subtle shimmer running through it which might not come across on camera but in real life it looks really pretty. So this is just going to be butted up to the black and you just want to follow the line down and maybe just like the black make the ends a little bit thicker just to give it a little bit of dimension and then when you're happy with that line that can just be cured. And then the last step is to add plain Jane with a dotting tool and I think this just sets off the whole nail and gives it a nice contrast against the pink and the black. And then I added a coat of Let It Shine and this is really super shiny, it's got a really nice consistency as well so it's going to smooth out the whole nail and then that cures for 60 seconds and then you need to wipe the tacky layer off. So that is the finished nail and it's so versatile as well, you can do this in any colourway I think would look really nice like lilacs or blues would look really pretty. So I really hope you enjoyed this one guys, I'll list everything that I use for Magpie Beauty in the description box below and I shall see you in the next one, bye! <laughs>